Hi, welcome to Three Random Monkeys. I'm Dana. I'm Bill. So now the neck is off and has been taken care of. And now the nice thing about Stratocasters is that all the pickups and controls are mounted to the pick guard. We are going to do something crazy and we're putting three hot rails pickups in here so it's going to be three humbuckers and the electronics are going to allow us to split coil in phase out of phase any number of combinations they're uh, push-pull pots on the tone controls we're going to drill a hole in the pick guard to add a little mini switch so between all of these little toggles and controls and everything, you probably need a rocket surgery degree. Well, let's take a look. All right, we got crappy little dime pots. So the pots are cheap, the switch is cheap, so we're, uh, we're definitely gonna be upgrading the, upgrading the guts on this one for sure. Yep, we should have uh, taken off the knobs when it was still. On the guitar? On the guitar. <laughs> All right, so before we go any further, here we've got Chinese holes are small and American shafts are bigger. So what I'm going to do is just buy a new pickguard and new knobs, and I will save this one just like this, and it can be dropped on to another guitar at a later date. So there you can see the difference in electronics. New versus Forward. So why are you replacing the jack? Because the Kelling sound came with a Switchcraft jack. Ah, much better. partially assembled. Yeah. So after checking out some new pick guards, we discovered that the holes in the pick guard do not line up with the body. Yep. So even though it's 11 holes, these, whatever this, they just don't line up. So anyhow, we've decided that drilling the holes in this, making them bigger and whatnot is going to be less invasive. And we'll use a reamer to get it the exact diameter it needs to be. always ream towards your palm. <laughs> well, that way you don't damage anything. <laughs> the blood acts like a lubricant. A lubricant. <laughs> the holes have been reamed. Beauty of no solder connections. Okay, so once the ground and the jack are hooked up, it's good to go into the body. Finishing up screwing down the pick guard and then this bad boy will be ready for some testing. All right, let's see how this goes. Hey, it makes sound, awesome. through the 40 plus, not 140, but 40, 40 plus, plus sounds in the next video. Still too many for your average guitar player. Link below. Link below. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Share the video.